Hey boys, it's Arm9. Now quickly, before the uh, update week comes out this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, we have some little leaks that have come out about the winter DLC coming on December 13th. So in only another, well, 12 days uh, after today. Um, and this is some pretty interesting stuff. Now I'm gonna give full credit to, uh, to this guy for putting this on Twitter. This is from The Gaming Detective uh, on Twitter. He posts a lot of Rockstar related uh, content on his Twitter and uh, leaks and stuff like that. And he's revealed some things that are being included with this next DLC. These, I believe, are from the game files. And he says in this tweet, there is going to be a new fast travel feature. We've kind of heard uh, rumors of this on Twitter quite a bit from uh, Tez and several other people. Um, there's also gonna be a new dead drop collectible as well, and a new property that introduces a character called Dax. And it's also possible that Wade from single player will be returning as well, he says. Um, so the fast travel feature, it's gonna have something to do with the downtown cab company. Uh, so we've, we understand that, we, uh, that, that's pretty much a, uh, that's pretty much confirmed. It's gonna be similar to the way that single player works, I would assume, but I don't know for a hundred percent. So uh, anyways, that is kind of cool. Now these dead drop collectibles, you guys can see in the little picture below, uh, it says dead drop package. So I'm assuming that dead drop is gonna be coming back into GTA. I believe that dead drop was in GTA before and was removed with the addition of, I believe, the contract DLC into Grand Theft Auto Online, or it could have even been removed a little bit longer ago. I'm not 100% sure on that, but there's previously been dead drops in GTA. Uh, however, it looks like they're expanding upon them and uh, also bringing them back into GTA, so that is pretty cool. But the main thing that I'm really interested in is the new property. Now, we've got a, we've got a couple things that uh, kind of lead me towards what I think this new property is going to entail with, uh, with this character called Dax. Um, and obviously, if Wade is coming back as well, um, I think it's going to tie into this pretty well. Um, if you guys remember Wade from single player, kind of a spun out character. Um, kind of uh, seemed like he did a lot of drugs. Now, if you think about the uh, the drug scape of GTA, we've got uh, got certain MC businesses. Uh, I'm not going to name them because apparently YouTube really doesn't like this again. Uh, so I'm not going to name them, but you guys all know what they are. But one thing that we don't have is acid. Now, in the, uh, the little game files picture here, there's something called acid. There's another thing called the acid lab. Then we scroll down a little bit further and it says gun van, stash house, tractor, warehouse juggalo, and warehouse juggalo dax. So I'm thinking that the property that's going to be coming out with this DLC is going to involve acid and potentially the creation of acid and then therefore the sale of acid. And I think that, that kind of makes sense because Wade from single player kind of strikes me as a guy that might uh, dabble in the old acid a little bit. So I think that this is a pretty solid idea of what we're gonna be getting with this winter DLC. I mean, it sounds like a new property for sure. This fast travel feature, the dead drop collectibles, obviously new cars, all that sort of stuff. But uh, I think this is really interesting stuff. Um, obviously, we've also got this thing called the gun van. That's apparently something that was uh, previously in the GTA series, I believe in GTA 4. And it looks like that's gonna be coming back into GTA. So that is really cool. Overall, I think that these are uh, these are pretty interesting things that we're seeing right now. Obviously, we're gonna get more info on this as, uh, as time goes on, as we approach the, uh, the DLC drop date. So, you know, stay tuned for this, guys. It is gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be an interesting DLC, I think, and it's gonna definitely be an interesting uh, next week and, uh, and a little bit here before the DLC drops. So anyway, guys, uh, I've still got the update week video coming out very, very soon. And of course, what to buy and what to avoid. So stay tuned for those. You'll see them very soon. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video or if you found it entertaining or useful or informative. Dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.